Why are autoimmune diseases on the rise? An autoimmune disease is a condition where the immune system malfunctions and fails to recognize its own cells and tissues, so it mistakenly damages them. One out of five people suffer from an autoimmune disease. But why have these diseases been on the rise in recent years? Autoimmune diseases are directly related to modern living standards and technological progress. It lead to an increased production and consumption of processed foods, environmental degradation, and a less natural and humane way of life. Many factors are at play behind an autoimmune disease. Some of these, such as vitamin D deficiency, seem to be more significant. But several other factors can also be considered as causes depending on the case. In all cases, however, there's one common denominator. The body has lost, to some degree, its biochemical balance. Medication addresses symptoms and complications caused by the disease, and it can improve the patient's quality of life for some time, but it does not offer a conclusive cure. Autoimmune diseases are treated with the restoration of our system's biochemical balance. In essence, this means that our system's biochemical balance is what shields us from disease and keeps us healthy. Today, metabolomics is the tool that allows us to capture and record the chemical reactions that occur in the body at the level of extremely small molecules and compare them with the normal ones. Metabolites are small molecules produced in every living organism during breathing, digestion, and other bodily functions. Measuring the levels of these molecules helps to diagnose and treat illnesses. In the case of autoimmune diseases, it helps to find and diagnose the different causes that might have contributed to the development of the condition. It also monitors the way medication works on the body in terms of effectiveness and toxicity so that the physician can personalize the treatment. Multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus can now be approached in a different, more effective way.